On a sunshiny day, the question is why would anyone want to be anywhere else? So, whether you're staycationing or simply making the most of what's on your doorstep, I'm sure you'll agree that Wales is truly wonderful. Now, over the next few weeks, our reporters will be travelling to all four corners of the country to find out just what makes our green and pleasant land the ideal destination and possibly discovering a few hidden gems along the way. Here's Kevin Ashford. Destination Wales. Now approaching St David's. One of my favourite parts of Wales to visit does require a bit of travel commitment, shall we say. You can't get much further west, but I promise you, all the driving really is worth it. You can't always guarantee the weather in this part of Pembrokeshire, but you can guarantee the views. And look at that heather. It's just astonishing. It just it fills up your eyes when you stand in the middle of it. And the smell of it is like honey. It's just beautiful. For years, these landscapes have helped inspire author and artist Jackie Morris. If I'm working on illustrations, I carry the text in my head and I'm walking and I'm thinking about it. And after a while, you just find that you're, you've pulled out of yourself, really. And it gives you that space for ideas to come in sideways, really. This is the coastline that surrounds St David's, Britain's smallest city. It's always been a bit of a hidden gem for tourists, but more and more visitors, it seems, are making the trip to discover what's on offer. It's the scenery, it's the quietness, it's the people, it's the friendliness, and then you've got the cathedral, and it is its own, it's its own place, isn't it? It's a little personality, isn't it? It just feels quite Beaches, cosy, really. yeah, are beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, around the outskirts of St David's, you've got gorgeous beaches, haven't you? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do next, we're going to go and explore some beaches. We've been a lot of places around the country, but around here, I'd say definitely the coastline is the I'm best around the it. UK. Traditionally you've got the, the cathedral, which obviously a lot of people come to, whether they're in a religious sense or just, just to see it, you know, for the, the building its majesty. But, you know, increasingly people are coming to see that as part of a wider uh, you know, holiday, looking at the wildlife, the, the beaches, the coastline and the coast path. They also come here to do this. This is co-steering, which provided you do it with qualified instructors. It's a safe way of going back to being a naughty kid. A lot of people say it's, it's kind of like all the things that you get told not to do by your parents when you're at the seaside, really. As well as co-steering, there's various other activities that, that draw people down here as well. Um, it's becoming an incredibly popular place for sea kayaking, for example. So um, I think it's just the, the area of being in a national park and being able to see the national park from another angle, really. And for much of her life, Fionn Rees has been viewing the coastline here from that different angle. For 20 years, she's skippered boats, currently running trips for tourists around islands like Ramsey. She did move away, but came back, drawn by the sea and St David's. I think it just kind of gets in your blood. I mean, I started off on the water with my father as a fisherman, um, as a kid, just helping him out fishing. And um, ever since then, you just can't get away from it. And uh, yeah, it's just an amazing place to work. It just has a bit of a pull on you, I think, St David's, the area of Pembrokeshire. Once you've, once you've been down here or lived down here, it tends to pull you back. And that's kind of what happened to me. I can't actually think of anywhere else I'd rather live. The lure of this part of Wales, it seems, is irresistible to locals and visitors alike. Kevin Ashford, ITV News, in St David's.